Hi everyone, and welcome to my third devlog. This week I have been working on AI and anime design. For the AI, I um, mock up my behavior tree in uh, Mylanot. So here you can see the different states and substates. So the enemy uh, can be passive, that means that he can be idle or he can be patrolling if there is a patrol route. He can investigate when hears or sees anything suspicious. He can chase when he's uh, following, uh, well, chasing the player. He can attack and he can die. When he's attacking, he can be out of range, so he just walks until he's in range. And once he's in range, he can attack or he can escape if it's too close to the player. The escape means that he can roll or dash. It's just to make the enemy look a little bit more smarter and giving him a different behavior. So the way I did that, once I was in Unreal, I set up this uh, variable called chance to escape. And this one, this variable is going to be different depending on the level of the, the enemy. Right now I put it on 100% just to show you how it works. So this is, um, we are going to look for the enemy. There it is. When, when he sees us, it's going to walk towards us and then start playing the animation, the attack animation. So when I, I'm getting too close to him, he's going to try to escape. And the way it works, it's um, when we get uh, in range for him to escape, he's going to check, uh, you can see those red lines, he's checking what directions are available. Because sometimes maybe you have a wall behind or there is something that uh, it's not letting you go in one direction or another one. So before he plays any, any of those animations, he checks the directions available. And then the, the the way it works is um, he checks all the directions available and then plays randomly one of them. So it's always something tries to go somewhere different. Here you're gonna see like the back. It's um, he's not allowed to go uh, backwards. So let's see if he goes. So he that that worked perfectly. So that's that's. Um, the, the little behavior I added this week on the AI and, and we can take a look of uh, the blueprints, how I did that. So if we go to the behavior tree, you can see here what I was showing in the mockup. So here it's when the enemy um, it's uh, in range, but it's not too close yet to the enemy so he can uh, attack. But when he's too close, it's like in the minimum, it's inside the, the minimum range, then he has this change to escape. And this is a task that the only thing that it does, it uh, uh, calls this event, and the event calls this function that I have here. It's a little bit uh, messy, but I'm going to try to explain. So we play a random uh, number here. And when it's smaller, when this number it's smaller than the chance of escape, then we we perform the, the escaping. And the escaping it's done in different steps. So the first thing I do, I clear the results where I store all the the available directions. And then here uh, I line trace the the three possible directions that he can go. That's back, the right, and the left. Obviously, you don't go in front because um, the, the, the player is gonna be in front of the enemy. So when those conditions are done, I, I just store the results in this array. And the second part of the process is to take a, a random number based on the, the storage, the stored uh, results. And then I just check which directions are available and we play the, the animation. So the animation is always random, which is nice because brings some different um, variety to the enemy. So that was uh, all what I did uh, for the AI this week. And then for the design, 
This week I have been working uh, basically on texturing my character. So here you can see the texturing was done in Substance Painter. Um, you can see here all my materials. Um, and each, materi each, uh, each material is um, created using uh, different layers. So there is a lot of complexity here and trying to to make uh, this mix of uh, realistic uh, textures and materials with more like um, uh, cartoony or stylized uh, anatomy. That's the style that I'm going for. You can see here the final result of the enemy just playing a, an, an animation from Mixamo. So the next step it's going to be rig it in Blender and import it to Unreal. And that's going to be the next week, so stay tuned for the next devlog. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like the video and leave a comment if you want to ask me anything. Thanks so much for watching and bye bye.